Well, hello. I am speaking to you from inside Project Transit Face. But I won't be speaking to you from inside for very long because I've just got it out to do a job and now I'm about to put it back because the job doesn't need it after all. I enjoyed that drive. Instead, the couple of pictures you saw at the beginning there may give you a clue as to what I am going to do today in my couple of hours that I have. Oh, it's not even that actually, it's about an hour and a half. I'm going to use this uh, mostly stripped out MGZR to see if I can fit the roof bars and these brackets are what hold the roof bars in place and they, they go in place like that. But there are no holes. So I want to see how easy it is to kind of make those holes work. That means I've got to drill right the way through uh, the roof and it's it's quite chunky just there. I don't want to just try a my car just in case it completely ruins it. You know in theory it should be an absolute doddle but I'm just being cautious. I might hit upon some sort of snag that I wouldn't expect making it really undoable. And I don't want to ruin my lovely Nigel do I? You might be justified in saying well if you don't want to ruin it don't fit roof bars on it. It's not like the need is it? Am I going to use these roof bars to carry a bike on the top? Probably not. Or one of those kind of shuttle um, uh, big suitcase things that people have when they go on holiday. No, no I doubt it. Maybe I like the idea of being able to do it if I want to do. Now in all honesty uh, I do have a habit of making things go wrong and I don't even know if I like the idea of these roof bars on the top. So, you know, what is the point in doing it? I'm not going to use them. I don't know if I like them. I may ruin my car doing it. So, that's probably why I'm walking up the yard rather than getting on with it now. You know, I can't stay in one place and I've got cups of tea to make and stuff like that all day. So, um, that does justify it. But it's an experiment. It's an engineering experiment. Uh, a rather easy one, I should imagine. So that's really why. And if I don't do it incorrectly, and I don't like them, I could always take them back off. Simple as that, really. Right, see, oh, there is the first hole drilled all the way through. That's probably a good idea, being thick metal on the roof, isn't it? Make it top heavy. Top heavy. There we go, fitted brackets. Nice and still, still moving around a little bit actually, but I'll find out why in a bit. Uh, from the inside you can see all I need is a nut on there to keep it secure. There, look at that, job done. And it's only a little bit wobbly because I didn't finish tightening that up in there. Can you believe it? Can you believe this, an actual proper job being done down here at Project Nigel headquarters? I mean it's not an actual proper job is it because it's it was just an experiment to see if something could happen. So that was a quick day and very quick indeed because not only did I just about get uh, to prove to myself that I could fit the street wise uh, roof rails on Nigel but then uh, my friend Peter came around and he's buying Project Dan. So the rest of my day was taken up just chatting with him which was rather lovely. Thank you Peter.